Good morning, everyone. Welcome, welcome to Natique Yarns here in Elk Grove, California, and NatiqueYarns.com coming to you live on this beautiful Friday. I'm so excited. I hope you guys are too. You are going to get a sneak peek purchase ability. That's probably the wrong word. No, that's fine. Sneak peek purchase. You can purchase the kits for stitches. This is day one. These kits are only going to be live for 24 hours. They will come off the uh, website. Come off the website. I will say they did really well last night. We introduced them to our Thursday night class and uh, everyone enjoyed multiples. So I'm excited. I can't wait to show you guys all the beautiful colors and what is one of the items we're bringing to stitches so we're super excited things are coming along we're two weeks from today we'll be at stitches susan will be manning the store by herself and I, we will be just living the high life oh i'm working on wrapping my head around the time right. frame right Jeez. now it's crazy when you think about that i'm super excited though lots of fun's gonna happen uh, we hope you guys are going to join us, and for those of you who are not local, that is why we are releasing um, Stitches items for 24 hours over the next two weeks so that you get to participate in um, Stitches with us because it is an endeavor to take on, and uh, I just want to share the joy with you. It's all coming together. Maybe on Tuesday was like the turning point, which that was like, is it all going to come together? I think it's all going to come together. I do need to reach out to a neon company because so far no one can do my dream of the neon in the time frame. But I thought if it's local, maybe they'd be able to do it because they would fabricate it on site. So we'll see. <sighs> Bellany says she's knitting with the best ever yarn, Silky Twist. It's a game changer in uh, uh, yarns. The sweater, amazing. I do need to tear out my sleeves, but otherwise... They were they were a little longish. They're a little long. I mean, like this long. Like six inches. And I still need to do ribbing, so I'm gonna say this weekend I'll finish it off. Good morning. Good morning. Hello, everyone. Good morning, Lisa Seville. Oh shoot. Susan or Karen, will you bring that skein of yarn that I wanted to talk about later? So I'm gonna jump right in. We have a lot to cover and not a lot of time, and I'm teaching at 11 and 12. So. We're going to talk about our uh, semi-monthly grand prize. I'm so excited to see how this one knits up. It's really, really pretty. This is the Fair Cotton Mariner by the Katya, and it is 100% cotton yarn. Beautiful. Uh, just really, thank you, mm -hmm, lovely to um, knit with. We have included our Toile de Lin pattern. That is something you could do with it. You could do a blanket out of it if you wanted to. You could crochet with it, that'd be beautiful. And one lucky person is gonna win this prize. Anna, how do they win the prize? So how you got entered into this grand prize drawing is every purchase made from the 1st through the 15th of February, you got one entry. It includes purchases made online at antiquearns.com, here live in person in the boutique, and even over the phone with us. And it's cumulative, so the more times you purchased from us, the more entries you received. It's spinning all on yeah, itself. It's, it's like the wind's blowing it. It's like a wind spinner in your backyard. Yeah. So here are all the entries from the last two weeks, and let's see who's gonna be the winner of this prize valued at $95. The names are so tiny, I can't I even can't read them. them. Oh, Chris Lapisto! Oh, she, she will totally make this. Yeah. Chris Lapisto is local. So you have the easy task tomorrow of stopping by the boutique anytime Tuesday through Saturday from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. and saying I want a prize can I pick it up please and we'll pull it out of the cabinets from behind boss lady hand it right over and then let you start playing with your wonderful prize uh, for those who have won lately who are not local 
or might win in the future, you collect your prize by when you make a purchase, putting in the notes that you have a prize so that we know to grab it out of the cabinets for you and send it on its way in your pretty pink package. I'm gonna talk about the next prize. Since I didn't print the pattern yet. That's okay, it starts today and this is gonna be gorgeous. And I can talk about the yarn, I will print the pattern. So we paired together one skein of the Luscious Concept by Katia Kashmina, which is a 16 and a half micron merino wool, meaning it's super soft and cashmere. It is this super soft, floaty, lightweight yarn. It's a great alternative to mohair if you are fiber sensitive because it is super duper soft. It has this beautiful ombre coloring from more of a mauvey taupe to an olivey gold, 317 yards per skein. And then that is paired with this gorgeous skein of Noro Sonata, which is a blend of cotton, viscose, silk, and polyamide, 390 yards in the skein. And you can see it has basically the same tones. Like overall, it's that olivey gold, but the highlights are more of that kind of mauve taupe color. All right. And the pattern that we've chosen to give away is a scarf version of Vino Verde. So really fun stripe pattern. Basically, um, all you're doing different with this yardage wise is to make it work is casting on less stitches. And it's this really fun stripe sequence where you're alternating from wider stripes at the end and then thinner stripes in the middle and then wider stripes at the end again. Originally designed out of Art Erin's Merino Cloud and mohair ombre one ply to give you that opaque and sheer effect that you will also get out of these two and if you're curious to see what this looks like it will be at uh, stitches in the collection i'm trying to amend oh, she's the updating the pattern with like she's even updating the schematic for you guys yeah there we go that's some extra customer service right there. Yes, it is. And I, we have both of these yarns in stock. It is beautiful. If you want to do it the exact size, you would need to purchase two of the Kashmina and two of the Gorgeous Sonata. And that would give you a full size convertible. Which I'm really like intrigued by that idea now. And I'm like, what color do I want? It's really pretty. I'm trying to look at the yarn from here, which doesn't work because well, there's some beautiful blue heron in the way. This one people couldn't really see, but on the inside, you do have the same colors that are right here. And I'm sorry, who doesn't want to knit with some gorgeous, uh, super soft, non-scratchy deliciousness? You guys know this is cashmere and merino, 16 and a half micron. Uh, merino wool and cashmere and if you haven't used Sonata perfect for summer garments I forget what this is, is this mostly no it's silk too so silk you know silk cashmere merino cotton doesn't get better than that I can totally hear you saying that Melanie she said I do with lots of O's in all caps right oh my gosh the pictures of Melanie and her grandkids wearing that I know aren't they cute, so cute. Loved it. I'm like, obviously he needs a sweater too. Mm -hmm. I'm sure she'll get right on it. Right? Like chop, chop, he's, Melanie, whip that out. He's knit worthy. Yeah. When one grandkid steals the other grandkid's sweater, that clearly means they also need a sweater. Claudia, I think so too. It's really fun to be able to combine yarn that people don't really realize that they would go together. But I really... I enjoy that more than anything. All right, we're gonna talk about our daily prize. This is a really nice one. This is Fair Cotton Crafts 175. It is 100% organic cotton. You can see it's got the seals to prove it. 
Um, it does knit up more at a, it says fingering, but I really think it's sport. Cause look at how big it is. Right? Like it doesn't seem fingering gauge to me. Like no. I would not want to knit that on a size two needle. Like it. But this skein or a uh, barrel ball has 592 yards. It's enough to do a scarf. I love how they do this now. One, if you're a crocheter, you would knit it up on a D hook, which further proves my point that it is not fingering weight. I mean, I still wouldn't even do it on a D. I'm like G yeah. at the smallest. Yeah. But I'm a, I prefer a looser fabric crochet person. I do, especially for garments, uh, that accessories. Hi, Stacy. Stacy's on vacation this week. Woo, woo. Ooh, enjoy. We All right, and we have paired <clears throat> one of my patterns. Carolyn Sanchez is working on this one. This is shallops. This is one of my favorite patterns, and um, I just think it's really fun to do. You cast on a certain amount of stitches, and you increase yarn over. So if we have seven yarn over increases, so every other row you're increasing, then you take the new seven stitches and pleat them with the first seven. And it does this cable that you can see, it's actually a pleat. So you have this pleat. There's enough yardage in this one that you could easily do the small size, which is 28 by 14, or the medium size, 54 by seven. Um, and you could, you know, do almost, you probably could do the scarf too. It'll just be maybe a little bit shorter, but I would do the medium and go till you just about run out of yarn. It's a really fun, easy pattern. What you do is you mark the seven at the edges and then you yarn over after the first marker and before the last marker and then so your seven stay clear and then you just purl them when it comes to it it's just really fun i love it i, I can't say enough about this one um <clears throat> if you're a machine knitter this is something that you could do on the machine if you don't mind manipulating the stitches i i mean it still takes a little bit of time because you're moving every other row you're moving a stitch over but really fast fun project either way it looks good this is our original one was out of a cotton yarn that was perfect for the summer and let me just say as we're we've got stitches up the wazoo spring yarns have started arrived like we have 150 yard pounds of spring yarn coming next week oh we're yeah like woo, woo, more yarn exciting it's it's exciting a little like where are we gonna put it Karen, <laughs> with, this table has plenty of room. And this one right here was made with Cosette. So if you guys have not used Cosette by Dream and Color, it is very nice to work with. So that's gonna be the grand prize. And how you get entered, okay, I'll let you talk about the colors because we didn't do that yet. It's so beautiful. It's very like, neutral with a pop of color. You've got some of that patina gold, olive and khaki greens, some cream, some charcoal, a little copper. Uh, yes, I love all the things. Claudia, Karen does have it all worked out. She keeps us on our toes. And thank you for volunteering for stitches. We will take you up on it. I even got you a professional name tag, so thank you. You get a badge. You get a badge, and you get a badge, and you get a badge. I was like, how many badges can I have? And we have a lot of people helping us, so it was, everyone got a badge, which is very nice. Um, all right, so how you get entered in the drawing for this. Just cleaned up the clearance. Yeah. Maria, yes. Reset so, up the tables with fresh we're goods. We're so happy to have the clearance gone. We love it, but we're ready for it to move on at a certain point. Um, all right, so how you get entered into the daily drawing. For those of you who are new to uh, Natique, and I anticipate a lot more coming in after stitches, um, we have these reactions at the bottom. So every time that you react to the videos, be generous with them. You're going to get one entry for every reaction. 
and if you comment on it five entries for every comment so it's pretty quick uh, all it takes is interacting with us which we love it this is the favorite part of my day is this well and teaching and the people I mean I'm a lucky person I have a great job all right so then we have down here you have the forward you can easily oh it did it again Oh, hit the little minus sign and then click on it down here again. I think that'll... This? Yeah. I think that'll fix it. Oh, except for now, it's gone entirely. What in the world? There it is. Ah, voila. Share now. This is the easiest way to do it. Share to your stories. Then you just have to pop in here. Oh, it's doing weird things. Look at it. Oh, lordy. It's like it's not letting you there we go. click in the box. There we go. Hello, Lynn Turner is knitting for us too. Thank you, Lynn. Lynn knit one entire thing and we're like, rip it out. We're like, okay. Oh, I can't even spell. Design modification. It's so close though. I know, we were like, ooh, but we don't close. want people to have to play yarn chicken. No. So we're like, sorry, that means we Thank have to you, redo. Lynn. Lynn, just put in that you knit it twice for that one, because you did. Yeah, just double the yardage. Um, but yes, so let's see, this is based off of yesterday's video with Anna and um, Susan with that amazing Dream and Color pop-up club. Let's see who's going to be the winner of this one. Oh, Pam Bravo. I feel like Pam ordered and it's already gone out. Yep, it has. So Pam, uh, Anna will tell you how you can get your prize. Or for those of you who are new, here's how you get your prize. So for collecting prizes, if you're local, you stop by the boutique anytime Tuesday through Saturday from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. And just say, I won a prize. Can I pick it up, please? And we'll pull it out of the cabinets that are behind Boss Lady. Uh, if you're not local, the next time you place an order at natikyarns.com, just put in the notes section that you have a prize. And we will send it all out together in one of the pretty pink packages. I love our pink envelopes. I also love when, it, for the stuff that's you know, going to get smashed our beautiful holographic bubble mailers. Oh, those are my favorite. If I could afford to do those on everything, right? everything would be... Everything yeah. would be holographic. holographic. I love holographic. I wish that material wasn't so much more money because even yeah. like boxes and everything, everything shiny. I want everything shiny. I'm really excited. Like the last of our merchandise has chipped... And the bags are on their way, and they Speaking may be shiny. here. They may be here soon, next week, which is exciting. Who'd have thought they'd all be able to deliver? But they did. Only one was kind of like, mm. of like not gonna make it kind of no, thing, no, or I iffy. Feel like they could have packaged it better. Oh. So that's the one that I like. Mm. You mean the one with a crack in the side of the box? Was that? Yeah, there's one with a big old crack in the with side the of the box. This mm -hmm. Oh, that's good to know. Actually, we should take pictures. And there was that. a small item escaping the box. I'll show you later. Oh, that's fine. Is it what was inside it? It was one of the things inside of oh, the yeah. thing. Okay, so we'll, we need to take pictures of that. Thank you, everyone, for sharing. Good morning, Nancy P. Shelly, your husband now knows the pink bags. See, that's the problem. We need to start shipping them in camouflage. No. Like, no, no, this is a present for you. Go away. You if can't look. If someone's husband, if you need us to change packaging, we do have other packaging. We could say we it's can, medication. We can send it in a cardboard box yep. from Amazon. All right. The first thing I'm going to talk about is what we did yesterday. Because if you didn't watch the video, the pop-up club sold out. Within an hour, it was all gone. So, you guys know, I reached out to my friend Veronica and said, can we get more of the pop-up club? And she's, she was surprised we were already sold out because I buy a large amount of it. I said, it's gone. So more will be here and it will be here before stitches. So 
Susan will post the link. We already have it um, in the register as a pre-order. There are a certain amount of them, but I'm gonna show you what it looks like. And, um, and if you need- I kinda want, I, I really want Susan to show what she's working on for people to see what it actually looks like. We thought about it yesterday and we're like, mm, if we unveil, un unveil, unveil this without you, you're gonna be like, excuse oh, me. Oh yeah, I'd kick your guys' butts. <laughs> like, excuse me, what do you guys think you're doing? But I'm gonna show you, someone has started knitting with it already. And I wanna show you guys what planned pulling looks like because if you saw this skein without without seeing what it actually looks like like i'm like yeah it's a pretty skein but oh my let gosh. me show you what it actually looks like i was like oh my gosh this is the best skein it like is. it's gorgeous i used to think that one was and oh. then this one came in and i went no that's better here is what this yarn looks like knit up it's basically mermaid shoes with a splash and what they've done is when you get to this one point, you do something special. So you have a project that has little blips of another design and there's some uh, creativity that you take in its place. So let me show you, Susan, this is her photography. You're getting even better and better at it. Will it rotate? Here's Susan's. No. Nope photography i was gonna rotate it big but on it so you guys could see all of it totally unwound uh right allison to me i was like okay it's a little crazy but knit up it's beautiful and we can we've done lots here's it wound up these are from people who already bought it but you would never know because all i see is this bright pickle ball Right? That's why I said I it's mermaid shoes with, with pickleball. Pickle I see pickleball, but when I see it like this, I'm like, ooh, that's pretty. Susan started calling it pickle shoes. So pretty knit up. So I'm going to show you guys some, something. You guys are just going to get a quick, another little advance. It's not ready for purchase. The, but, the pattern is not typed. Yes. Nobody demand is, anything today. <clears throat> Another one of the planned pooling. I feel like I need to cover the lens while you lay it out. Like okay. no peeking. I'm going to go over here to the caramels. And this is one of our patterns that will be coming out for stitches and what you can do with planned pooling. All right. It's so pretty. So one skein is all you're going to need to make this oh. gorgeous. It's so pretty. Dan is a pickleballer. So here is something that we did. I'm gonna spread it out so you guys can see. And every time we hit the orange, or most times we did the orange, there's times when it starts to stack up that you knit past it. Susan can tell you more about it because um, she's the actual knitter of the design. It's, I come up with great ideas and then I pass them on. <laughs> it's super fun. Yeah, every time you come to the orange, you just do your bazillion wraps. Bazillion. But sometimes you have to skip because otherwise, the, had I done this one, it would have been right here because you can see the orange starts right there. Yeah. So you knit a little past. And sometimes I'll throw in a short one to use some of it. But you can see areas like you you did a tiny one at the edge. Yeah. It's very it's nice because you have guidelines, but yeah. there's some interpretation. Yeah. It's it's a little freeformish within the framework. This is smushy cashmere. This is something that will be available on for stitches, but this is what you can do with this skein of yarn. We wanted to show you one that's already knit up. Heather, it is not available yet. So coming stay soon. tuned. That colorway is coming soon. That's but what it this is. This would be gorgeous in this in this pattern. Mm -hmm. But not to worry, this is coming for stitches. And the, and the pattern is coming for stitches. So if you want to do it, just be patient with me. There will be a pattern. There will be patterns. We wrote, I think, four or five patterns for stitches. Yeah, Patty Palmer has done some of the planned pulling too. 
but so just to show you guys even though it's not the same color this is what design a skein of this yarn can do and one skein is all that you need we even have an exclusive implant pooling that mm -hmm. will be for uh stitches i'm almost to the border i'm so excited nice like, nice i think i out. have about four rows left to go before I can start my border. I'm in like a um, wholesale group, like other vendors and people ask me all the time, how come you do so many exclusives? And here's the thing, I like exclusives. I like new things, limited editions. I think it's fun and I don't wanna go to a trade show that I see something that everybody else has. So when I wear knitwear at trade shows, I only wear exclusives for this store. It also gives the, the vendors more business. And who doesn't like an exclusive limited edition goodness? Mm -hmm. Speaking of <clears throat> stitches, you guys, this is gonna be your opportunity, 24 hours to participate in the kits. This is called, this is our newest pattern on Ravelry. It is called Whispery. This was a real collaboration between my, this was Pam in England, her idea. And it took a lot of test knitting for this simple pattern, which is ridiculous. It looks like it's easy. It is easy, but it took a lot to get the edge to not look like it's ribbed. And you can see a slight, uh, this is regular ribbing on the inside. But from one, I learned a trick to do um, a different type of stitch. It's called a half Milano. And it kind of covers up the pearl bumps. So it's a little bit more um, subtle. Yeah, so that it doesn't have that typical ribbing. Um, so what you're using a size six needle, it actually knits up at a worsted weight, which is amazing. You're casting on less than 90 stitches and the kit comes with four balls of French Angora. And I'm gonna talk a lot about the Angora and um, how I ended up choosing it. This kit that I'm using, the gray one that I'm showing you, I cast on and I knit all of three skeins and then I started my decreasing. So it's definitely a little bit longer. Did we have two hats here? Yeah, you stick it on the mannequin behind you. Okay, thank you. Now this is one where I only knit to um, eight. I think this one was eight and a half inches. And the final pattern that we decided on was eight inches. But again, you can knit as long as you want. You can make it shorter than you want. Um, it has a really gorgeous top to it where it's not a spiral. You're decreasing in fours with knit two togethers and SSKs. Get the Sandy square. Tokunaga, yes, I have knit, I'm on my ninth of these. I can knit one in about a day um, if I'm knitting on it throughout the day. Um, Phyllis, I'm with you. I absolutely love Angora. So I want to talk a little bit about, um, as Anna's showing off this, how I chose the Angora. So I am working with um, Gallery Yarns, and this is a trademarked rabbit, uh, the Angora, called Bellingor. It is sourced from French Angora rabbits that are raised on small breeding farms in France. Uh, one of the reasons why French Angora is prized higher than any other Angora th in the world is there's a higher ratio of guard hair. And in Angora, the guard hair is very soft. This is the long fibers that you're seeing, which creates a distinctive halo and allows for a wider range of colors in the fiber. So one of the things that was super important to me is how are the animals cared for? Um, it's one, always since I've had the business, I care about who's making the product, are they paid livable wages? Do they have good living conditions? 
and it's the same with the animals. I will not buy from places that aren't treating, it doesn't matter what the price point is, um, I'm not gonna make money off of other people's backs or animals, right? So not all companies have the same standards that this company does. I love the richness of this uh, blue right here, so beautiful. Mm. Really pretty, like almost denim blue <clears throat> with a splash of cobalt. Claudia, it does shed in the beginning until you've washed it and worn it a couple times. So when you are knitting with it, you will keep a limp roller handy or what I've done is I tucked in a pillowcase um, into my bra straps and then I knit over it. But when it's all done, it's beautiful. Um, when you're knitting it, you will have some shedding. That is the nature of super soft fibers, but it lessens after time. But it will never have that bald look. And you can see on the side, that is the guard hairs that they're talking about. So one of the questions when I met with the owner um, over Zoom is, how do they care for the rabbits? So the rabbits live their entire lives on the farms. The only thing that You're they spoiled are there, rabbits. no seriously, is for the fur. Nothing's like, when it's the end of their life, it's the end of their life, nothing gets done to them, right? Then they're sent, made on, sent their way wherever they're gonna go. The people who care for the rabbits are passionate about them and they are, their pets. They are hand brushed every 90 to 100 days. Spoiled freaking so rabbits. Good. And <laughs> their priority is the animal's welfare. So it's super, super, they call it health and happiness hmm. of their, their bunnies. So that just a little bit of background on why I chose this brand to do these kits. Um, so in the kit, you are going to get four skeins of Angora. Angora is only 33 yards. Um, and it is so luscious to knit with. I hadn't knit with Angora in a while, um, I think since our Runny Babbit hat. We did include in our kit, so you get the pattern, and there is, you can get a download on Ravelry. We'll do that for you, so you can drop it into your, actually, it's available on Ravelry, you can download it yourself. Um, but we will include a pattern, a paper pattern, and then we have these, tags made for the store. I'm going to let Anna talk a little bit about the tags. So these are a natural leather tag um, and they are engraved with the Natique logo and on the inside this is kind of my favorite part. Mm -hmm. um, it has the care instructions and then it's got this cool little like this piece is attached um, and you just pop it through the fabric and then pop it through the tag like you just push. I'll show you guys. So here is, that's the brad that's on the inside. You just, even if I wanted to move it, right? You're just gonna, what I do is I fold it in half, find the halfway mark. I'm really gonna kind of push it in. Like I always push it in a little bit farther than I think I need to. Yeah, so here it is at the edge. Just give a little bit more of a push. Then you're gonna push this side in and push it on. These are able to go in the wash, which I actually like them washed, um, or you can wet it down. It's a little bit more patinaed and they're gonna get softer um, when you wash them. We have a couple examples. This is a good example. I mean, these haven't even been washed, but you can see that this one's a little bit darker. Look at this one. And then that one's a lot of bit darker. This is one I've touched a lot. So it patinas like our um like the leather handbags yes dallas consuela right but what's that one it starts with a d and i was diego say, oh, diego <laughs> you know what i think i need to think i think of. it's because they're in texas they that it makes you think of dallas i think but all their stuff is people's names the tag makes it look professional in my mind. It makes it look like a really upscale, you'd buy it at a boutique. Like a consignment type store. Sandy, the difference between Whispery and Whispery Light is with the kit, you get one size. Which so is Whispery is Light. Whispery Light, that is what this one is right here. That um, is one size. 
Whispery has multiple sizes and it was just the easiest way for us to work out how to do kits and have accessibility to everyone. So if you want to do, um, how, how small did we do kids? So the full whispery pattern has like a baby size, a toddler slash child size and an adult size. So there are multiple sizes with your leftovers. You're going to have a little bit of leftovers on every hat. I'm going to create a hat for Everly out of it. Oh, it's going to oh, yeah. be cute. Every hat I'm making. Are you making this for me? I was doing a navy blue one yesterday. She's like, are you making that for dad? No. Like, no, dad I'm making that for the store. No, dad doesn't need a hat. So now I'm going to show you guys the options. Um, and like I said, this isn't to pressure you guys to buy but you only have 24 hours to buy because this is something I can reorder for stitches. So I wanna make sure everyone gets everything that they want and then I will reorder for stitches. So we will talk about the colors that are available. There is a lot. This has been a very popular one. This is Copen Blue. Mm -hmm. Look at these cute, I'm sorry. Look at these cute little skeins. I know it's a little bunny in a nest of yarn. So this is Copen Blue. That has been very, very popular. There were two, uh, there was a lot of popular ones last night. So Copen Blue is one of them. The next, and I'm in love with this one. It's kind of a goes with everything color. It oh, I'm does. seeing lots of got mine comments. This is dark gray. It's not really a dark gray. I know this one kills me with the name. I'm like, don't call that dark gray. That's medium gray or gray. If you click on the link that Susan has, everything is there. Um, the cost, what's included. It is a complete kit. All you have to do is provide your needles. Everything else is there. Um, I'm just really excited yep. about that. Yarn, tag, pattern. Yep. Just add needles. All right. Here we go. This is purple. That's as creative as the name is on this one. Mm -hmm. It's purple. It's really like that nice traditional violet. It is a, coming out a little more ultraviolet bluey on mm -hmm. camera than it really is. It's a true purple. Yesterday was the first time people were able to purchase the kits in my Thursday night class. Everyone bought two because it was like they wanted to buy one for themselves and then for like their sister or daughter because it is a project. I was telling everyone, cast on this week, you'll be done in two or three days. And it's just nice to finish a project and have something totally yeah. done. Once I show you all the colors, I'll tell you about how I finished it off. You know, in class next week, they're gonna be like, so we can buy more now, right? right? <laughs> this is Cherry Blossom 8. 32 which is that really soft pretty rose pink this is oh gosh it's between this and another one this is one of my favorites this is fuchsia which is that really rich vibrant red pink One of the things that makes this pattern that one. work is that it's the yarn. You're not gonna get the same results with, we'll say, Rios. It's not gonna look the same. Yeah, you need fuzzy. You need a super fuzzy yarn. This one's flamingo. This is flamingo. I, these are my two. Ooh, probably this one too. I love, you guys know I like really saturated colors. Um, this is flamingo. It's just, it's flamingo. Flamingo is my favorite. It's that rich coral color. Like if you remember the Pantone color living coral, it's basically that. All right. This is uh, what I would call French Navy. Which is that really rich, deep Navy. It's a little darker in person and then on camera, the camera's kind of making it glow a little. I think they just call it navy though right just yep navy eileen did you get purple
And she does sometimes stray away from purple. And Debbie, what color did you pick? I just think they're so fun. Okay, this is Princess, Princessa. And it's this beautiful gray lavender. Yeah, it reminds me of when the flowers on the lavender start to fade and they get that really soft powder purple look. <laughs> Heather, Heather's not. Okay, fuchsia, flamingo, cherry blossom. And then she just oohed this one. So I feel Seriously. like, you know, just one of each, my friend. All right, next. This one has was super popular last night, too. This is Granat. Which is like wine mm -hmm. like a pl like a plum wine it's mm -hmm. got that little bit more of the purple leaning gorgeous deep red violet shelly that makes me happy you're, i mean I, you're I welcome can't shelly you guys you could do two hats and do stripes would be stunning that's totally what patty just commented yeah, yeah. lots <laughs> of people all right so i feel like here's the last of the bright this is green apple, but I like it. It's not too loud. Yeah, it's not like people tend to make green apple like a more lime green, which mm -hmm. is not really what a green apple this looks is like. Smith. Yeah, it's that softer green. And with there is <clears throat> about a third to a half left over. So that's what I'm saying. You keep your leftovers and then you can do a sweater like Melanie had that you just put in rows of Ooh. your Angora. So you're using your leftovers. Um, okay, so now we're gonna go into the neutral. There's, so, oh, I'll have to find a pattern and link it in the collective later. There's a sweater that would be perfect for using leftovers in. All right, this one is mink which is that soft, like, milk chocolate brown. I love this one. I don't know why in my head, and it, I grew up with my great aunt who was from England, and she had, like, old world style, and for her, a very stylish piece was a camel coat. And so this reminds me of like her. Like actual camel or camel in color? I didn't ask questions. I was a little kid, but she, it was, I mean, she had like the mink on her. I mean, she's born in the late 1893 is when she was born. Right. So yes, Melanie, the heart in Angora on that sweater. Is it olive? Olive and bean or something like yes, that. Bean and would olive. Be gorgeous. I want to say it's bean and olive. I absolutely love this one. This is door which is gold it's very like butterscotch deliciousness if you are looking um for that really softy green we have prairie it's like a sage a little bit blue green but very soft dusty level color and last but not least, and I just want to say this, there are only four of this last color and no more. Yeah, they didn't even know they had one box left. Yeah, no more after this. This is the traditional white. And when those are gone, they're gone. Okay, we cannot reorder white. So if you're in love, go I now. Mean, white's beautiful. Get your second device, chop chop kind of thing. Mm-hmm. So this is our collection of whispery hat colors. Oh wait, look, here we are. Fifteen. I went from I was only gonna have Pam and I were like nine, nine colors, and then I'm like, oh wait, no. It's so beautiful I call them candy boxes. So this is how it comes. So they're protected. I mean I just love everything is top of the line here i have loved working with this lady oh wait it's on the wrong side here we are because yeah, there's like a little peekaboo peek window so let me talk about real quick how do i care for the hat once i'm done um the blue hat is copen blue 
that is this one dark gray I've personally knit this one this one this one um Kristen knit this one Linda Simpson's a trooper she's done like I think three Lynn, and we Lynn her has bunch. this one did Linda do the rest of them? We didn't yeah, do We white. sent like three or four more to Linda. I know yeah. we sent her this one, this one, this one, yeah. this one. I just think they're so beautiful. And it's something, you guys, this is a classic. Angora's classic. You have, I have sweaters from the 90s that were Angora. I have a couple of my mom's sweaters from the 50s. So one of the things that we're going to talk about real quick is how to... Once you knit your beautiful hat, what are you gonna do? The first thing you'll do, weave in your ends. Oh, I do wanna say this. When you're closing up the top, you're gonna be a little bit delicate. You're not gonna snug, snug, snug like you would with wool. You go through the top, and I think this is a better one. I was, I wanted to make sure I didn't pull too tight on that one. So you go through your stitches and you go through it again and then you gently pull. You're not going to pull tight. The yarn will snap. It is a fragile fiber. Um, but you can definitely close it up, bring it in. You're going to weave in all your ends and you'll see, I mean, some of these I did late at night. I was like, ah, who cares? Right? So here's one here, here, here. Sometimes I go on a diagonal. Sometimes I go straight. I mean, it's on the inside of a hat, no so it doesn't it. have to be perfection. Then what I did is in um, just like a Tupperware bowl, I put warm water, very like a cool to warm water, like tempid, a little bit of soak, and I just soaked it for five minutes. I drained out the water, laid it in a towel, rolled it up, press, 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 press. And then I put it on a bed with a fan over it. Now, once you're done with that and it's all dry, you can comb it. And I think Pam did that on one of them. She combed it. So I'm too lazy for that. What I did is I just took the fabric and did this. I just rubbed it against Very itself. Very gently rubbed it against itself. And then I hit it with a blow dryer. Because you can see, look at even that little bit of rubbing, hit it with a cool blow dryer and it's done. You don't have to do that. That's if you just want extra fluff. Yeah, if you want it fluffier and fuzzier looking, you just give it a mm -hmm. little zhuzh. There's, yeah. So that's going to be it. That is what we're showcasing today. We're going to talk about what we're wearing. And what I'm wearing would be perfect with two kits if you want to do a cowl. We um, originally designed it out of a fluffy yarn and mm -hmm. it just like, while you don't get the same stitch definition, you just get these. It reminds me of when they get those beautiful scallops on like the meringue. Mm -hmm. It just floaty, fluffy scallops. I'm show you guys this because there was one spot because this is, a, um, there was one spot where it had a little extra bit here. I left that there, right? That's just a little extra fuzz. If that bothers you, you could pick it out or pull it to the inside. I'm not going to, because I'm scared like um, Mr. Bunny's going to lose part right. of his stuff. If it bugs me, I just take a crochet hook and yep. pull that to the inside. Let me show you guys. You could do that too. Or if you happen to have nice long fingernails like Danielle, you can probably poke it through yourself. Yeah. But I don't have nice long fingernails, so I use a crochet hook. There we go. And then you can't see it because it's on the inside. Yeah. So this is souffle. If you're looking to do a cowl out of it, you would need two kits to do that. So beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. This actual, our second, this was a re-yarn for us. Um, this is Rios, one skein of water green, I think mm -hmm. is the name. But what I like about it, totally reversible. It's a well. slightly different scallop on each side. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's nice. Allison said that's what she would blow dry her Angora rabbits on cool before we showed them. That is really what makes them super fluffy. So when you're done, you could just hit it with a blow dryer and woo, so beautiful. 
All right, let me show you guys what Anne is wearing. Look at all this luscious. I know, it's so pretty. It makes me so happy. How am I missing one? You're not, it's... Oh, that's right. There we go. Three rows of 15. Three rows of five. My goodness. All right, Anna. You guys, that's how tired I am. That's our brains right now. No, seriously. Um, your hair's getting long. You guys yeah, never I see her hair down. So overdue for a haircut, but I figured I'd postpone it till the end of winter because then it'll be hot and I'll want to mm -hmm. it really badly. But I am wearing Kentia. It is a top-down sweater with this really fun lace design in the yoke. It is designed to be two colors like this. Mm -hmm. um, and then stockinette body, there's a little bit of short rows after the lace to lengthen the back, which kind of helps push the neck forward a little bit. You want to turn around so we can see that? It's hard to see because actually the short rows come around all the way to the front, so like my wrap and turns are in the front. Mm-hmm. I could, yeah. There's some right here. Let me see. There's You can see a little bit there. Isn't this gorgeous? This beautiful speckled bottom it did not call for a split hem but boss lady got me hooked on split hem they're just so comfortable they just they, your sweater stops riding up it's yeah. amazing all right what am i wearing anna <laughs> wrap it real good oh yeah that one <laughs> i kept thinking pinions i'm like i know that's not right because that's the one you did wrap it real good this is a super fun pattern same repeat over and over and keep changing colors so you don't get bored you know, it would be fun if you really can't decide which color to get of the Angora, just get all 15 and do it out of that. Oh, wouldn't that be, that be beautiful? And amazingly perfect. Mm -hmm. Look how pretty they are, you guys. All right, my friends, we are off. I will be uh, popping into my second part of my clap of tea class in a few minutes. And we also have um, my regular class at 12, 12 o'clock, but we will be here until five o'clock if you guys have any questions. If you wanna sit in it, our pink chairs are out again, which I'm in love with. So happy to have those back out. I missed our chairs. Mm -hmm, they're so beautiful. If I could have that at the show, that right. would be, I wish I could put one of those. Right, like and if we had room ones, for a sitting area. Some of the people who buy four spaces, they'll put like a sofa. But I'm like, no. That's a, that's a lot of space taking up. Mm -hmm. But that's it. I cannot wait to see what colors everyone has done. And I just did something. I had a, every once in a while I have these great ideas that... If you are someone who takes pictures but don't want to post them on Ravelry, you can send them to me. I just did our own Ravelry uh, group for you guys called No Take Peeps. And so we will put your photographs on Ravelry if that's not something that has well, then people realize people are knitting our pattern. So that's, it really is that. It gives your um, pattern vali validity. Yes. I think that's it, validity and you as a designer when you have projects that people have knit. So when we're asking you to do it, it is a little bit of a selfish reason because we know hundreds of people have knit our patterns in our store. They just don't always get on Ravelry. So if you wanna take a picture of your project and send it to us, we will post it for you under that special group. So that is gonna be it for now. I'm super excited to spend my Friday with you and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow at 10 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time. Thank you. Bye-bye.